it's just man this is day officially day two here in oklahoma and it's getting real it's getting real here and it's just proven to me that you know this is this is a real deal good morning guys i survived last night um luckily it only rained a little bit it was just kind of uh light showers and stuff it was supposed to be pretty much all night oh so i guess my little uh thing yesterday where i said hopefully the weather channel's wrong they were wrong and it was just a little bit as you could tell it is a little bit wet down here but everything i don't think the winds got real bad the tent's pretty fine but as you could tell it's kind of going up so i'm going to tie some of it down and get it ready and then i think i'm going to end up uh going into um i'm going to go into town and i'm going to try to uh find some type of uh internet that i can get out here because that's been a struggle the wee boost works but let me let me tell you how i have to upload videos out here so after working all day i go in the tent and i edit and then when I'm done with that, I save it out. That takes about 30 minutes to save the video out to my computer. And then my phone is broken, the port on it, so I can't plug it in and transfer the files. So I have to then Bluetooth the um, video from my laptop to my phone. That takes about five hours. And I have to have power for that to keep the laptop on, so I have to run the generator. Then, I have to upload it from my phone to YouTube, which takes about four or five hours. So I've been getting maybe like three hours of sleep a night so far, um, trying to make sure I'm getting these videos out. And I know y'all are gonna say, don't kill yourself. Just don't worry about posting every day. I know, but it's a personal goal of mine and I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna go in and see if I can't get a hotspot for uh, internet out here and hopefully that'll work. Cause I get good 4G, um, uh, cell service with the Wii boost, so I'm really hoping that that'll be the thing So I'm gonna go into town while it's pouring down rain and try to do that Maybe uh, get a little more gas for the generator uh, Get some more food and stuff like that. I'm gonna utilize the rainy day when it's really bad and other than that I'm still gonna come back um, and try to uh, Just rough it out here So I'm gonna go ahead and tie this stuff down a little bit better and then we'll see if it's raining or not And also, as you could tell, I had these uh, overalls on, a jacket or whatever. That's how I slept. I uh, have sweatpants on underneath, and then I got these on. These are actually Jared's. Jared hooked me up with them before I came out. He said, here, use them for a little while. He's like, I won't need them. It's not gonna be as cold in Dallas. So Jared, lifesaver. Um, night and day between uh, having this on and not. Last night I did not have it on, today I did. And then last night I also, I have two sleeping bags, so I, uh, the first night I slept in one and put a blanket over. This time I put the sleeping bag inside the other sleeping bag and then the blanket over, and that was a game changer. So I'm um, getting a little more confident on being able to figure out how to uh, handle the cold out here. Yes, I know it gets way colder, but I'm just gonna figure it out step by step. And I do have a heater in there if I need it. So it could have been a lot worse. So again, very, very thankful, but uh, this is roughing it out here and uh, you never know what you're gonna come across or what's gonna happen, but check out the uh, skin from the snake that I got. So I'm saving that bad boy. See if I can't do something with it. It's not very big, I didn't get it all, but it's cool looking. So if y'all have some cool ideas what I can use that for, let me know. Maybe I'll do a headband. Maybe I'll, uh, I don't know. I'm just, I just figured I'd dry it out and see if it looked cool. But I don't know, if you have any cool ideas, let me know. So it started to rain a little bit, so what I did was, I came in here and I basically made a spider web out of this. I got rope up here, right here, here, down here to this big log, from there to the water tote, all the way around. I did it on that side. I got everything uh, basically tied up as good as I can. And then I got the generator and chainsaw and stuff like that in the truck, so 
if I get stuck in the truck, at least I have power and I have a chainsaw in case a uh, tree falls down. Thanks to Kevin from Hidden Heights Farm. He told me that, he said, uh, been there once or twice, so don't get into it. And I would not have thought of that, so truly appreciate that. So I'm gonna go check out the river real quick and show you all that. I mean, if you're gonna have rain or get wet, might as well go look at the river, right? So as you guys know, I've been down by the river before when we first came out to look at the property. And man, this is just so cool out here to have all this basically uh, in my front yard, backyard, whatever you wanna call it. I'm not very far from this. And so it's really awesome to be able to come down here and swim and fish and hang out. And I'm sure get on that side and kinda just lay in the water for a little bit whenever it's super hot, but this is gonna be awesome. pretty cool being down here by the uh, river I was just standing here and some of the cliff just fell in so that's pretty crazy you got to be pretty careful with that but it is starting to uh, rain a little bit right now but uh, just wanted to show you guys some of the river and the view and how close we can get to it but the rain starting to come down so I'm gonna go ahead back to the uh, uh, property and try to make sure that we're all good all right guys so I was driving up back to the property and it is still raining some. The weather's supposed to be really bad. If you check out this uh, map of it, it is coming right for us. And uh, on the way up to the property, since this is kind of like, there's an RV parks like that, starting to rain a little harder. There's this bunker here. And so uh, I'm gonna stay uh, ready in my truck in case I have to come hang out in this bunker tonight. Cause they said there is, um, it could be tornadoes. So. I gotta be real careful with that. Um, so there is this bunker that's here on the uh, property, and as you can see on the inside, it's big enough for me to get in, get in, and it's covered all the way around. So it'd be safer here than in a tent for sure. So hopefully I won't have to use it, but if I do, I sort to come. All right, so I just made it back up to the tent. Luckily, it didn't leak at all. Um, so we're doing good. But what I did was. I got this other tarp and uh, I tied it down over the top over everything and then I can crawl in there and get in but hopefully if the top blows off then at least this will kind of uh, take some of the rain away from going in the uh, tent so that's the plan I know it doesn't look good but there are potential but there are potential uh, severe storms coming and even tornado they said they will not roll out tornado right now but the winds are definitely starting to blow, as you can tell. Trees are starting to move. So, wind's picking up a little bit. It uh, has been raining off and on. And then, uh, it's just one of those waiting games I'm gonna see. I got the truck packed with food, water. I got the generator in there in case I need to uh, put it over there at the um, uh, bunker if I need it. I got power cords, all that stuff. So I am good. I have pillows and blankets and everything. So hopefully it won't um, come down to that, but I don't know. I've never done this Oklahoma weather before. In Texas, they say if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. I got a feeling Oklahoma is not like that. So uh, hopefully everything will be all right. All right, so I'm waiting it out in the truck. I'm reading this uh, Back to the Basics book. Grady, thanks for the book. Um, I'm definitely taking advantage of having it right now and being out here right now. It's not raining terribly. It's raining hard and it goes away. Raining hard and goes away. So I got high hopes that hopefully I'll be able to sleep in the tent tonight and not in the truck or in the bunker. But I have no idea. So until then, I'm going to read this book. I'm going to really do some research on how I want to build the tiny house, what size, you know, all that stuff. So until then, I'm going to take advantage of this and start planning out the tiny house. All right, guys. Uh, I am in the bunker right now. I don't know if you can hear or not. It is uh, raining pretty good outside, but I figured I would uh, go ahead and spend the next couple hours in here. It's not going to hurt anything. There's no one here. So I brought uh, some food and water 
and then I got blankets and pillows and stuff in case I need to sleep. Uh, water is in here a little bit. I'm kind of surprised. So it's leaking from somewhere, but that isn't a big deal to me. I don't care if it's leaking all that much because I'd rather get wet in here than uh, the tent blow away if a tornado does come. But that was one of the things that I was uh, kind of worried about was if a tornado hits and I'm up at the campsite, I wouldn't have time to get over here. So I just figured it's not gonna hurt me. I could spend a couple hours over here. It's not that bad. This is probably like an eight by, I don't know, 16 or something. So plenty of room, it's just me. There's no one else here. Everyone else around here probably has a house already. So I'm just going to uh, spend the rest of my night here. Hopefully I get to go back and stay at the uh, campsite up there, or at least sleep in the truck rather than uh, here. Cause look, I have to sleep on that piece of carpet because the boards up here are wet. So hopefully um, I don't have to sleep here, but it, it is what it is. I would rather be wet and safe than wet and dead out there. So this would be uh, the end of the video for tonight. I will update you guys in the morning. I'm pretty sure I'll be all right. I don't think a tornado is gonna hit, but just in case, I will be here. It's just, man, this is day, officially day two here in Oklahoma, and it's getting real. It's getting real here, and it's just proven to me that you know, this is this is a real deal. There was snake yesterday, trees almost falling the wrong way, tornado, possible tornadoes up here, this bad weather. Luckily, this little bunker thing's here, which gives me a lot of peace of mind, and I know it gives all you guys and my family and stuff peace of mind. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, I make it till tomorrow. I think I will. I don't think, um, if there, even if there is a tornado, I think I'll be all right in here, so. Uh, you know all you guys that are new to the channel this is just something crazy that's going on I am moving from Texas up here and my wife is still in Texas but she'll be coming up once I get a tiny house kind of dried in I didn't want to uh, put her through all this and we're working on some personal goals and stuff of our own so as always guys thanks so much for watching and hopefully I'll see y'all guys in the morning